Hi, my name is Mr. Harris, President and CEO of Renaissance Youth Center, and welcome back to another RYC STEM review. You've met this amazing gentleman before. His name is? Mr. Bravo. Mr. Bravo. So today we're going to talk about block coding. So today we're going to talk about uh, the game of Pong in block coding. Uh, the reason why I want to talk about it is because I have an amazing story about how I got so into this game and uh, I was able to influence one of my students uh, to remix it and then you know when we talk about block coding or when we talk about a coding in general it mm. kind of uh, mm. intimidates people right because well, what is it well let me tell you block coding it actually uh, coding the definition of coding is as easy as learning coding and the definition of coding is literally the way that we humans communicate with computers that is the definition of coding so if you were intimidated like I was when I first got introduced to coding and you thought that it was a bunch of zeros and ones and you couldn't understand what binary coding was well I, I felt the same way about it mm -hmm. but as soon as I found out that the definition of it was just the way that we communicate with computers I understood I just need to learn a new language got you and so, so uh, can we call it a language well, block coding is a language used in coding. So, okay. uh, so I'll give you an example. We're communicating right now. Yes. And the reason why you can understand me is because I'm speaking to you and I'm speaking to you in a particular language, English. English, yes. So therefore, because I can, I can, I can communicate with you with English, you, I can easily give you instructions on anything. You can easily understand it and you and can respond to and it. Respond, respond to, to it. Yeah, absolutely. I got you. So what is this right here? All right, so yeah, this is uh, this is one of our uh, this is one of the modules that are set up in uh, scratchmit.edu, and uh, this was called the Pong game. And so I just want to show you how easy they've created uh, the systems so that you can understand block coding and use it to uh, the best of its capabilities, okay. right? So we're going to start with this game, and this is uh, called again the Pong game. And this is just a quick tutorial. I'm going to skim through it a little fast to give you the uh, the general um, information of it and then I'm gonna go into the story okay so if you like to go ahead and hit start and we're gonna hear what they have to say about it you can use scratch to make a pong game bounce a ball or something else and score points to win first let's pick a backdrop I'll pick this one let's choose an object to bounce around I'll pick this ball we can make the ball move with this block Let's see what happens if we put it in a loop. Nice. Now, it seems to be stuck on the edge. Let's try adding this block, if on edge, bounce inside the loop. Okay, great. It's moving back and forth. Let's see if we can make it bounce at an angle. I'll make it point at an angle and start the code by clicking the green flag. Now, let's add another sprite that the player can use to hit the ball. I'll pick the paddle. I'll drag the paddle to the bottom, and I want the player to be able to move the paddle side to side by moving the mouse. So I'll make the paddle go across the stage when the mouse moves. And I'll add a green flag on top. Click the green arrow to find out how to hit the ball with the paddle, add a score, and more. It's that simple. It is that simple. So if you yeah. log on to scratch.mit.edu, you can create an account. This is totally free of charge to use, and they give you a step-by-step -step tutorial. From here, you can go ahead and create your own pawn game. And so... So, so before you move further, so for our parents that are watching, what age group would you say this is good for? Well, uh, Scratch uh, today has something called Scratch Junior. So to begin to learn the beginnings of coding, you could be anywhere between the ages of six all the way up to the ages of 18. Six to 18, I guess the Absolutely. only thing you would need to know is how to read these prompts, right? Absolutely. Now that you're good to go. Yes. Now, let me ask you something else. So is this free? This is free of charge. Absolutely, it's a, it's a free website. Anybody can visit, create an account, free of charge, like I said, and uh, you get to be a part of a community as well. So uh, whenever you create a project, you can actually share it with the community. The community can remix it and you can learn a lot from the community. So can you do this on an iPad? Absolutely. Uh, so um, it, it has uh, different options for you to download it either on a laptop or on a, or on a tablet today. As long as you have a keyboard uh, and you could drag and drop with your hand, you can absolutely use a tablet. So young people, parents, if you watch, and this is something because all you guys have an iPad from school, most of you do. So hope you can down download this on your iPad. If not, 
put on your, your computer. Go to the library, use a library computer. This is something that you can all create. 